Well, hey everyone, happy Sunday morning to you. Uh, this is the last week in our Sermon on the Mount series. Jonathan uh, Chastain will be teaching this morning on uh, the final part of chapter 7, Jesus' instructions to the disciples and sending them out, commissioning them for a life of following him faithfully. wanted to give you a little bit of an update on where we're heading over the next couple of weeks, though I think your small groups will probably be a bit out of rhythm uh, in the sense that next Sunday is obviously Easter Sunday. Um, my plan is, me being outdoors, we'll do a uh, somewhat abbreviated message uh, looking uh, clearly at the resurrection and uh, pointing people in a more evangelistic way to the hope of the gospel and to life in Christ. That's actually going to launch our teaching series through the month of April. We're going to look at more of a theological theme than a book study for a few weeks and consider the, the, the doctrine or the theme of union in Christ. What does it mean for us to be in Christ? Paul uses that language uh, throughout the New Testament and describing what's happened to a believer that we were in Adam and now we are in Christ. We're united with his life, his death, his burial, his resurrection, and even his ascension. And so we're going to look at uh, that theme throughout the Sundays in April, uh, particularly from the book of Romans, because Paul is going to use that language uh, most explicitly there. So uh, we'll, we'll be considering that doctrine. I'll give you more uh, pointers uh, moving forward. But my guess is you're probably not going to do a seven arrows movement through a study this week leading up to Easter. So wh what our group's going to do is take the Easter invite cards uh, that we got uh, over the last couple of weeks around TCC, bake some cookies, and try to... Um, go to our neighbors and uh, meet some neighbors, pray for them. Uh, and it's a little bit easier because we're Trailblazer Park, so uh, inviting people is pretty easy. But I, I would encourage you to uh, consider doing something like that with your group. Uh, particularly last semester, we considered the Dever study on evangelism and continuing to keep that temperature high in your group. Uh, who can they invite? Who can they invest? If you're not in a place where you can go and actually pass out invite cards, maybe you can uh, consider relocating your group uh, for this week or, you know, the Cherrydale Point shopping area, kind of walking and passing out and inviting people there. Or, uh, at minimum, spending significant time praying in an evangelistic fashion for uh, non-believers, co-workers, neighbors, friends, family members that you might invite to the Easter service. So uh, use this time uh, to, uh, to drive towards evangelism and really build some momentum for Easter Sunday. Again, uh, we will meet at the park next week, barring something crazy happening with the weather. Service will be at 1030 uh, as, as normal. And uh, there'll be some a uh, little bit of food there, and just a good hangout time, and uh, should be should be just a joyful celebration. There's also a multi-church um, sunrise service uh, at the same park at 7 a.m. that morning. Uh, if you're inclined to uh, get up early and uh, and come and participate that in that, certainly invite you to, and then you can stay and help with setup, load in the band, sound stuff, and uh, get us ready for the service. But um, again, at minimum, if you can uh, make plans to be there you know, considerably early uh, to hang out, celebrate uh, the resurrection of Christ, and just meet whoever uh, newcomers uh, may be coming that morning. So uh, blessings to you in your small group this week. Hope it's a great time to consider evangelism. We'll see you next Sunday.